Hello there, I'm Julie McDonald with the headlines on Al Jazeera. Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has accused Israel of trying to destabilize his country. This as new UN figures show the number of Syrian refugees rose by more than 25% last month. Meanwhile, there have been high-level discussions about Syria at a security conference in Munich. Jonah Hull was there. The conference has seen, as I said, tentative moves towards opening up new channels of dialogue on Syria between Iran and the Syrian opposition, between the Russians and the Syrian opposition. And it will have to remain to be seen whether uh, progress is made to build upon that, whether, for instance, uh, the Syrian uh, National Coalition decide to go to Moscow and take up the offer of further talks there. The leaders of Afghanistan and Pakistan are in the UK for talks with the British Prime Minister David Cameron, which are due to begin on Monday. It's the third trilateral summit since last year. For the first time, though, Afghan and Pakistan military and intelligence officials will join them for face-to-face -face talks. At least 15 people have been killed in a suicide bomb attack on a provincial police headquarters in Iraq. 90 people were wounded. One suicide bomber targeted the compound in the northern city of Kirkuk. Jane Araf has more. No one has taken responsibility for this one yet, but Kirkuk is the country's most divided city, claimed by Kurds, Arabs, and Turkmen. And people believe that political turmoil is making it easier to launch attacks. Those are the headlines here on Al Jazeera. I'm Julie McDonald. Bye-bye.